Hi there, Joka here with a new layout, this time for spare binders. The brief was that I had to use um, metal dies and I chose um, the color block slices and I also had to use some cut files. So basically die cutting two ways, digitally and with um, the traditional metal dies. I briefly showed the papers that I was using. The pattern papers are from the Paige Evans Bungalow Lane collection. And I also added a few uh, spa binders papers. I will link everything in uh, the description box so you can see the colors that I picked for this project. And once I die cut a few of these, slices i use both of the dies that are in the um, package i kind of wanted to create a sunburst or um whatever you want to call this pattern uh, as my main design element uh, on my page but i did not want to um glue everything down on the background i actually didn't even know what background i want to go with but I wanted to create it on a piece of cardstock first. So I'm just, first I, I try to arrange them in a way that I like them. And then um, for that step, I just used um, temporary adhesive and now I'm, I'm gluing them down with a permanent one. And once I've done this, I am going to trim off the axis and then I'm just going to uh, come in with a with some with some scissors and cut out this shape. And so then I can finally play around with um, you know placement where I want to have it on my background because at this point I did not decide if I want to have it um, like on the on the left or the right or um, top or bottom you know i i like to have the whole design done and then move it around so i i can see where i want to have it and what, um, where i want to put my photo and stuff like that um i really didn't have any plan plans for this layout other than this element here so yeah i'm not very big on planning now Normally, um, okay, so before I'm going to continue to say that, this is um, what I did. I added some uh, zigzag stitching with my sewing machine uh, just for some additional texture and just interest. And um, I'm trimming my photos and adding some tissue paper behind it to mat them. Um, they kind of pop more this way and I I don't know I used to like adding pattern paper behind my photos but um, this is what I've been doing for years so I kind of I don't know <laughs> I kind of stuck with this now I'm trying um, what I want to use for my background paper and I really wanted to use the blue paper but you know one pattern paper is not enough for me so I actually added blue at the top and this um, sand color at the bottom and when I did this um, so what you do me here I, I marked a piece of the paper um, to fit the remainder on the background because one side of the paper was darker than the other and I wanted to use the darker piece so um, I'm now gluing everything down and what I wanted to say earlier is that once I've done that I actually noticed that my photo colors work perfectly with this setup here because my kid is on the beach um, so you have sand color and then you have the blue sky and this was totally not intentional so I, you know, happy accidents. Um, now, this is the cut file I'm using. It's just a font that I found in um, Silhouette Studio many years ago. It's one of my favorites for big titles. 
Um, this is actually not super big. Um, normally I use it for titles that actually cover the whole 12 by 12 background. And then maybe I put some photos behind some of the letters, but this time I just wanted to um, create a smaller title there at the bottom. Normally, when I use cut files and dies together, I actually do it the other way around. I use the cut file for my background design because, you know, you can cut um, large designs with it, uh, with, the, with your machine. And with dies, you are kind of limited um, in the size. So that was my original idea. I wanted, kind of wanted to add a, a big cut file in the background and then, um, for instance, leaves for a full layout. But I realized that I don't actually have leaf dies. So when I went through my dies, I saw the, the, the slices and I thought, oh, they are perfect. They are large, so they are perfect for a background design. So that's where the idea came from and now i'm going to um, check all the embellishments in the bungalow lane collection to see what matches my colors or theme or you know what, what i could use it's not a lot of things and that happens because i never i never plan out my layout um i probably should Go about it differently I should check my embellishments first um, because often I don't find I don't know enough I mean in this collection there's so many embellishments but I always end up using these kind of things these word stickers and uh, phrase stickers but okay I guess that's my style um, at this point <laughs> Um, I also use the small bird paper clip. Um, you might see that I put it on the photo. It's just a blue bird. Um, and these phrases are, some of them are uh, foam stickers, uh, chipboard stickers, um, ephemera pieces. And then this alpha um, thicker set is also part of the collection. I really love it. I love this uh, knit design. So I wanted to add that um, with my cut file title, just so, I don't know, I kind of like mix, mixing and matching um, things there. And I'm pulling off the, the adhesive from this. Uh, you might find this um, unnecessary. With some of the thickers, it might be, but I, I, can't, I just don't trust any of these. Um, uh, glue so I just pull it off and then I add some liquid glue and I can be certain that that stays there for a long time and um, I'm also adding some liquid glue to the other stickers as well then I um, have this you see I, I saw that story the story sticker uh, I think that was one of the foam stickers and I put that um, off to the right because I'm going to add my journaling in that dark uh, blue um, slice there I thought that would be a good spot for the journaling I originally wanted to write it all around um, at the top but um, when I saw this sticker, I thought that that would be actually a great match there. So um, I'm adding that um, chipboard sticker at the top to balance out the bottom title, kind of, you know, visually, if that makes sense. And now as a last step, um, I'm adding some acrylic, uh, white acrylic paint splatters, just for some interest and this is it um, I hope I could give you some ideas or you were inspired by this layout 
Um, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.